Well, welcome to another video on software testing. My name is Randy Rice with Rice Consulting Services. Uh, in this short video, I just want to kind of explore an idea uh, that I, I think is one of the basic, basic principles in software testing. Uh, in my last video, I referenced this book by Boris Beiser, uh, Software Testing Techniques, the second edition there. Uh, one of the classics in software testing. And one of the things that um, Beiser talks about in that book is the pesticide paradox. And basically what that idea is, is that your tests grow weaker over time. Uh, and that is because the more you perform a test, uh, the more defects you find. And eventually, you won't find any defects. It's kind of like uh, the idea behind the pesticide. You know, for a while, when you first start using it, it kills off the weak bugs, but the stronger ones survive and they breed stronger bugs. And uh, before long, those bugs are resilient to the pesticide that you used before. And we see the same thing with antibiotics and, and, and biological bugs uh, in the human body. So uh, the, the thing about it is, what you have to do is you have to look to see well, what am I really trying to do here? Am I trying to discover new defects in the software or am I trying to prevent the old ones from coming back? And so that's why when you start thinking about things like test automation, repeatable test and those kind of things, before long you find that they're not discovering bugs. You have to start going into different directions. You have to start doing more exploratory tests. You have to maybe uh, branch out in your testing and, and discover new ways to find the defects that are in the code. So that's the thought I want to leave you with is that uh, you're going to have to branch out at some point. You're going to have to maybe play off of those tests that used to be great in the past, but they're just not finding defects anymore. You may have to come at it from different angles. You may have to take different roles in, in the view that you take of the software. So anyway, I hope this kind of spurs you to maybe some new and creative ways to think about testing. You know, uh, one of the things that, that I, one of the questions I get asked so often is, what skills do testers need to, to know? You know, I over the years, my, my answer has really come down to this, thinking skills. Testers need to know how to think creatively, how to question, how to really look at the thing that they're testing and not just go down the same path every time. So anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. Come back next week for another one. Thanks for watching. This is Randy. Bye.